Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshi Yagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this image for a long time ago. 35mm reversal film for hat commercial. Well, I got this image and you know, so I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop use filter called Find Edges. Well, I'm gonna make something impress uh, impressive, something interesting image from these two images. Well, let's get started. I just want to see that uh, this image, pencil drawing type, then I'm going to change the blend mode, normal to like darken, leave me a burn, color burn, how it's going to turn out. Okay, when you change this blend mode, it's going to show like this. Look at this overlay. This is Max. I see that what I'm interested in is this outlines profile lighting, uh, light line of the model when you see it's normal you see the lines that's so nice and i see change this to overlay still see it and also i think it's kind of interesting colors look at this okay i'm yeah i like this overlay effect and also vivid light, this color, luminosity, also I like this image, I mean the colors, color ways and uh, shape is pretty interesting, well I want to use that, luminosity and also that uh, overlay, these two effect, I want to keep that, okay now let's see, okay I'm gonna make this image. First of all, choose these two as a group. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate this group. Then I'm gonna flatten. So we got this image. No more blend. Now turn it off. Then I'm gonna select this group again. But I'm gonna change the blend mode to luminosity. It's opacity max. Again, I'm gonna duplicate this, this layer and again I'm gonna flatten this image. Now we got uh, overlay and base image is this, then luminosity. Now this luminosity and the base image colors pre saddle so I wanna go double this. Before that I'm gonna turn this base image turn it off to keep it and uh, I'm going to duplicate this luminosity this color then change top layer change the blend mode to mod multiply so we see this little bit dark colors that's pretty nice well I'm going to merge down now we got the two images one is Overlay normal, then this luminosity normal blend. Okay, these two, and we got the base image also here, and pencil drawing type is here. So, four layers. But let me see first, we'll go for from here with the change blend mode, like darken. So we see that the darken image of the luminosity layer and also we got this overlay image. And that's pretty interesting too. Darken. And let me see. Wow. Collaborate. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, I can like a linear burn. This effect, you can see her expression too. Linear burn or multiply. 
Nivea brand has more color. Saturation is too, uh, a little bit higher. The multiplier. Nivea brand. Okay, let's check. This is multiply now. Yeah, let's see. Move this layer. Go down. We have for other effect. This is nice tone, huh? Well, change back to normal. Then I'm going to change this layer now. Darken. Yeah, a little bit different color. Okay, I'm going to use this. Alright, this is pretty interesting. Impressive, yeah. Now, before touching this, this image, I want to move this pencil drawing type. Go up. Okay, just a little bit normal. Turn it off. Then I'm gonna take this normal image and go up out of the group. Then I'm gonna delete this. Clean up. This is base image. These two, three are base images, different images. This one was overlay effect. This was luminosity effect. But change the blend mode now. Uh, linear burn. Then this is pencil drawing type image, normal. I'm going to turn it off. And also I'm going to turn this base image off too. Now we got the two images, right? To work out. Now, before working, uh, touch these two images. I want to change the canvas size. Like, let's see. Canvas size, resize canvas size. Just to give it a white border outline outside. About the same size okay now we got this image to start okay now about since this is 35 millimeter reversal film so we see so much grains now let's see if i smash this image how it's going to turn out uh, let me see smash tool using a wall let's check it out Oh, a little bit. No greens now. Well, not completely, but uh, if you smash this, now we don't see much greens. How about lines? Yeah, we still have outlines, but take out the greens. Well, what I'm doing is, let's see shows now it's a linear burn but change to normal you see i'm smudging this layer take these greens out take only the colors i think smudging you see let's see changing color burn i mean uh, linear burn but I, let's see, this is, well, I'm going to make, well, yeah, I may want to see this, well, let me see, let's check, yeah, I may want to leave this, some of the lines, like this edge, you see, we're gonna lose these details too. So, okay, now I'm gonna go back to this. I may want to make a duplicate, then touch this on. Okay, I remember what this effect was. There's a luminosity max image, right? So I'm going to keep it before, um, rather than going back, I have the pencil drawing image here. Also, well, see this, change luminosity with this base image. We got the uh, normal image, this pencil drawing is over this normal image. 
Boom 100. Make group. Then duplicate group. Then flatten group. Now duplicate again. Change uh, blend more to multiply. Then I'm gonna merge down. This is same image of this which I touched. So I'm gonna keep this image just over this then turn it off to keep it. Now just this base group turn it off to keep it again. Now I'm looking at linear burn with this base image. Now I'm gonna work on here. A little bit complicated. If you want to hear again, uh, you want to see, if you want to see it, just going back moving. Okay, now I'm going to start smudging this, uh, smudging this image. We have two images here, these two. So I'm going to smudge this with same evolve, continue to smudge. Then what I said is, if I want to leave that effect we have here, make mask and uh, get some this dark lines image. Let's, uh, let me show you. Make mask, then invert mask. Now I'm going to reveal with, let's see, airbrushing, maybe medium line. Then reveal this mask with the white small size then let's see I'm okay I'm gonna reveal this mask like or maybe oh change the blend mode to darken Then reveal, reveal this. Now showing this dark edge. Then again, oh, this is a mask. Just settle now, but uh, let's see. Reveal this way, soft blend. We see that. Uh, oops, what's this? Oh, show this layer. Some of dark. Lines. Okay, if I want it, I'm going to touch this one later. Now I'm going to turn it off. This image, but uh, I'm going to smudge on this layer. I want to take these greens. Not completely out, but some of them. Leave the effect. Like here, I want to see that dark, li uh, dark lines here, so if I turn this one on, then reveal this with brush. Then we see that dark lines. Yeah, right here. Some. Okay, smudge this. And this is it. Okay, reveal this mask. Right here. We see the dark image. Some effect. I just want to leave here. Okay, then again, smudge this. 
Okay, a little bit complicated, but I know you will know. Okay, pretty interesting image we're looking at. Okay, now I will touch since this image is come from here, right? Okay, this image is overlay before. This one was, oh well, I'm gonna change this rename. Everything changed. I mean, uh, rename. This one's. This one is smudged. Then this is mask. Now this one is base. Then this one is pencil drawing type. Done. Okay, pencil drawing type, base image, now linear burn, I mean uh, luminosity, and base image got together on this. Same layers, but this one was I smudged to get out of the uh, black dot from the grains. Then overlay base image. Now I want to duplicate overlay base image then i want to change i want to i want to see this image to smudge let's see from here on this then i'm going to turn this base i mean uh, overlay effect base image off then i'm going to work on this same image with smudging now I'm using the smudge to make some kind of uh, painting effect. Now we're taking out the greens from that uh, overlay effect base image. Just smudge this background area. Use the bigger size of the smudging tool and also outlines like this but this one's gonna show up like let's see I'm gonna turn it on Now, pretty much done for smudging. Now I'm gonna add some colors. Let me see. Let's see. Over this layers. And here with brush. Same airbrushing group, medium blend. It's color here. Change to color. Okay, I got uh, so many layers now. Okay, about this image though. This is the base image. Now it's kind of too much amber color, so I want to make it change the color of this layer, base color. Okay, choose this color balance. Then too much yellow goes to blue water. Then a little bit more greenish. Touch cyan, how's this now? A little bit cleaner, light. Just touch more yellow, huh? But this is too much, no? Okay, how about now? Maybe lighten up there, so I go highlight side is okay, mid tones now. Then shadow area. Okay, let's see. changed so much yellow to blue okay this is the color I add okay now I want to add some more on this layer
Okay, just touch. I want her face to be a little bit more bright. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate the make mask, invert mask. Now turn this face image off. Then I'm gonna reveal this mask. Now I'm gonna lighten up only this layer. Adjustments to curves. Now we have a mask, so we only see this face. Lighten up a little bit contrast. Go to yellow, so I'm gonna add magenta. Then take the red. Again, add blue. A little bit more contrasty, go up the contrast, real sad. That's red. Okay, let's see. Take yellow out. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reveal this mask to take this yellow out from here too. Okay, well, all right, I guess that's it for today. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope this movie is going to give you some kind of idea for your creative work. And uh, I really appreciate for you guys' support and uh, you guys have a nice day. And see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.